Sometimes we get some pretty cool trade-ins and this is no different. This is a 2022 Bronco. Big Bend edition. I actually know the guy who traded this in. It's got a lifted with 37s on it. Got a rough country lift. All the rough country accessories, the step rails. Come inside, you've got the seat covers. It's got less than 7,000 miles on it. Which it looks cool, I like it. The only, the only thing for me, well, number one, you got the small spare tire, which is kind of weird. But the thing that I do like, likes and dislikes, I guess. The fact that it's a manual transmission, I like. The thing that's kind of worrisome, it's a four cylinder. So definitely down on power from what you would expect especially when you're running these Wild Peak tires on their 37s. The green looks really good on it. The Broncos do hold their value decently, but they're nothing like what they were back in the 70s. And I think Ford really missed a, a big opportunity on that. Another thing that's pretty cool, at least for me, most vehicles have the uh, grab handles way up here, or like the Wrangler, they're hanging down. These are right here on the dash, makes it really easy just to pull yourself up in. If you're not a tall person, or if you're an older person and just can't get in and out easily, makes it really easy just to grab that and pull yourself up. But coming under the hood here, I feel like they could have done something to clean all this up. I mean, you've got stuff running everywhere. And I would imagine that it'd be a nightmare to work on this. I mean, you've got stuff just everywhere. Yeah, your dipstick is easy to find, all your fluids, that kind of stuff. But if you're actually one of those people that likes to maintain your own stuff and do your own work, it might be a little bit of a pain. but it does look good. I'll give it that. It does look good. We also got in this Camaro the other day. It looks really good. Pretty low miles on it, I believe. It's a 2019. Not bad looking on the inside. It's got 36,000 miles on it. It's the SS, looks really good. Got this pearl blue. Yeah, the shifter is really easy to get to. Clutch is pretty simple. Not a bad little thing at all. So what do you guys think of the new Broncos? Been out for a few years. Do you like them? dislike them prefer the ones of the older years or you're just not interested in them at all let me know down in the comments and if you enjoy this type of stuff let me know and we'll continue doing it